Hey everyone, raise your hands if you have a creepy uncle. Raise your hand if you never once met this creepy uncle. Now raise your hand because you're too stupid to figure out that that is not your uncle. Alright, go ahead and put your hands down and enjoy the show. November 21st, 2003. When his parents left on a vacation, Nathan was left with the responsibility of staying home alone. This was until his uncle, Eric, arrived from the airport. Oh, whoa, that, uh, <laughs> that's been around real quick. Hey, this is a nice place. Hey, where's the audio? Hey, I'm not hearing anything. That's... Okay. I mean, you'd think you'd hear footsteps at least, right? Hold on. Okay, never mind. Looks like I don't have a menu whatsoever. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's dark outside. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, God. When was the last time I cleaned the kitchen? Uh, probably sometime today, from looks of it. This should go into the sink. Yes, it should. Oh, popped out of existence. <laughs> Alrighty then. And then this one. Oh, oh. that must be our uncle, Eric. He looks like a normal guy, and you know, <laughs> wonder why he came over. Hey there, kiddo. How's my fairy nephew doing? Great. How was your day? I was pretty busy at work, but I'm happy to be here now. I'm going to take a shower if that's okay. All right. Sounds good, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we're not alone in the house. Unless we have to worry about Uncle Eric, and then that's a total different situation. But I'm pretty sure we'll get there when we need to. What's this, the garage? Yes, it is. And it's only a one-car garage. Huh. Well, I guess you don't need two. Ah, damn it. I hate when those doors come out this way. Are we outside? I Okay, I guess that's the outside. I don't know. <laughs> I can't see. And there's no switch here, so... Huh. What about this door? I hear water. Is, our, is it from our uncle? Or the sprinkler outside? Okay. What is that, butterfly? Good evening, I'm Connor Fallon. And tonight we bring you a special report on a concerning development in the Benton neighborhood. Is that our neighborhood? According to recent reports, there have been multiple cases of missing persons over the past few weeks, leaving the community in a state of anxiety and uncertainty. I think I just heard our One local resident who has been actively involved in addressing this issue is Sarah, who has been a resident of the Benton community for over two decades. In a recent interview, Sarah expressed her apprehension about the frequency of these disappearances and the need for the community to take proactive measures in addressing the issue. Mm -hmm. It is alarming to think that individuals can simply vanish without a trace. This is happening too frequently in our neighborhood, and it is time for us to take this matter seriously. The families of these missing persons are understandably concerned and worried, Sarah stated. The police have confirmed that they are investigating each case of a missing person, however, as of yet, no leads have been found. Consequently, the Benton Boulevard community remains on high alert, with many taking extra precautions to ensure their safety. We will continue to monitor this situation closely and bring you updates as they become available. In the meantime, this is Connor Fallon reporting for International News Network, Reminding viewers to remain vigilant and support one another during these uncertain times. Why is it? Why are we getting blurry? What the hell is up with that? Our vision's going blurry. 
Is this is this normal? Is this supposed to be happening, or is the game just glitching out? Uh, okay. Well, apparently we get we got to worry about some missing people. This must be our parents' room. All right, nothing on theirs. Huh. All right, we're in our room. Okay, I guess we're tired. Do we need to go to bed? Is that is that the uh, the issue here? Is that why we're very blurry eye? Where's our uncle? Well, he's not in our shower, that's for sure. Is there another bathroom we don't know about? <laughs> a hidden room, maybe? All right, time to go to bed. Okay. So we're dreaming, and we're dreaming of running away in the train station, right? <laughs> With some really demonic voice in the PA system. Oh, and now we black out. I want to wake up in the real world. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Uncle's flight got delayed. What? What do you mean? Why are you surprised? He's in the house. Don't joke with me. Oh, crap. How do we not know what our uncle looks like then? I swear to God, I'm not joking. Where is he right now? Lock yourself. I'm getting the gun. Okay. Again, how do we not know who our uncle is? Seriously? This is our first time meeting him? I'm gonna die tonight. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Where is the gun? Oh! Okay, here it is. Here we... There. Did I... Did I get him? I shot through the door, right? <laughs> I hope this thing shot through the door. Damn, no more bullets. Are you serious? I didn't even I only shot once. Oh, there he is. Well, now what? Hell only has one bullet in their damn in the damn gun. Seriously? You think there'd be more in there? Well now what? What am I supposed to do? Ah. <laughs> Do we just hide in our room? I think that we lock the doors as we go in. I don't know what to do from here. What the hell? <clears throat> Is there escape even even possible at this point? And it's kind of interesting that he didn't do anything until just now, after we went to bed for a good minute. I'm not sure how long we were in bed for, but... Damn it, he barred the doors. Oh shit, I don't even know where he is right now. Through the garage? Oh, he saw me there. Ah, damn it. The window, can we open the window? Uh, uh, and we can't crawl under, obviously. Oh, no, we can't. <gasps> we escape. 
Hey, the cops are here. <laughs> wow, okay. We got out. Look at that. <laughs> Made by Japan. All right. Okay, well, there's Fear Creek. <laughs> Uh, this goes to show you that when you have family members coming over that your kids have never ever once met, it is always good to let them know what they look like. And not only that, I, you know, like what the hell? I, I like seriously, to the parents, what the hell? Why would you never show pictures of your family members to your own kids? Aren't, aren't they supposed to be acquainted with them beforehand so they know who it is instead of having some random person walking in just like now? There's a good like little uh, wake-up call to those parents to show your family to the rest of your family, you know, your kids especially. Because <laughs> otherwise they're going to be in a situation like this. And you'll only have one bullet in, in the chamber. Why? Because you're a stupid idiot, that's why. <laughs> uh, either way, I hope you, you guys enjoyed this game. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe for me. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. And beware of the creepy uncle. <laughs>